Hello and welcome to Currency Point, presented by me, Evan Lucas, for FP Markets. As always, please have a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature, not rich relied upon as any form of personal advice. FP Markets does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore not rich relied upon as any form of advice at all. It is just general in nature only. £65 billion pounds to create calm. I mean, what a thing to be standing here and saying to you right now that the Bank of England are going to have to shore up their own government from a policy blunder. And that's probably the correct term to be using. There is no doubt the unfunded tax cuts that the UK government is proposing has created all forms of financial instability across the UK. And therefore, the amount of money that's needed to shore it up will be quite interesting to see how it goes. Looking at it from two perspectives of the market, why are you giving tax cuts to the wealthy when realistically socioeconomic problems from inflation are at the bottom end of that scale? They're the ones that need the, the actual issue and they're the ones that are going to be hit hardest because interest rate rises are going to have to offset that. But the second part and where the instability comes from, UK defined pensions and the most of their pension schemes that are on a fixed fee are done through gilts and leverage gilts at that. And that's where the instability comes. It's a self-perpetuating cycle and from the point of view that if you all of a sudden have creditors calling you in, how do you find that money? You have to sell the bonds. If you're selling bonds, who are you selling it to? If there's nobody to buy, you then get a self-perpetuating problem with price. And that probably explains what's happened over the last week. I mean, it will go into the textbooks about seeing UK 30-year and 10-year bonds moving over 50 basis points in the space of a week. It's incredible in terms of what's going on. And that's why the Bank of England had to step in. And as I said, if it was continued the way it was, the instability would lead to absolute real economy problems. Credit supply would completely seize up and the issue around the pound would happen. And that's what we need to talk about. Where does the pound go from here? We know it's already fallen to 107. It's got down to 103 at the height of this whole crisis. Look, you can't go past at the moment. Dollar is king. The USD is absolutely king. There's no doubt about that. But when it comes to sterling and what sterling is now going to do, there is a definite downside. And the risk bakes into it as high. The Bank of England is going to have to work incredibly hard to restore some form of credibility across the whole system. And therefore, the cost of that, what is that going to be? How is it going to work? The next question is, where does the pound go from here? Well, the one to always keep looking at is cable. Because at the moment, in the end, that is the only pair that has a very clear direction. You know, you're looking at Euro Sterling or even looking at Sterling Aussie, Sterling NZ or even Sterling CAD. They're a bit difficult doing crosses. So always stick with the simplest option and that always will be against the USD. And there is arguments that if you listen to places like Citi, if you listen to JP Morgan, Barclays, all of their economists and all of their FX are saying this has parity written all over it, even with the Bank of England stepping in because they're still facing down a financial crisis. That's what it is. We know that they are steaming towards recession and an inflation rate in double digits. The BOE therefore will have to act and how they act will be interesting. All of that also needs to be pointed out that there is a huge amount of risk in this. How the market digests when it snaps back, because it will. There will be points in time where that selling in the pound becomes overdone and it will snap and snap quickly. So watch for gapping. But the overall trend, and it currently is, is down. What is going through on the fiscal side is clearly very risky. And the amount of, therefore, support required to shore up that risk is so unknown that all that negativity can only have one thing to it, and that's a negative pound response.